Doug Kalunian here with Mastering Your Well-Being. Today is day number 20 of my Entre Nation 90-Day Awesome Life Challenge. In my last videos, I introduced the concept of mindfulness and offered an example of how someone might use mindfulness in an actual stressful life experience. Today I'd like to talk about mindfulness and its use in the realm of emotional well-being. Our world seems to be becoming more demanding and isolating every day. The rates of depression and anxiety disorders are increasing, so we need a better way to manage these conditions. As interest in mindfulness has increased over the past few years, there's been a great deal of research on how effective it can be in improving emotional well-being. Stress reduction using mindfulness meditation was first introduced to treat chronic pain. Later it began being used in combination with cognitive behavioral therapy to treat and prevent recurrent depression. Since then, a number of different mindfulness-based treatment techniques have been developed, followed by a huge number of research studies to examine how well they work. The research has shown that, on average, mindfulness can be helpful in improving symptoms of depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions. It helps by giving a simple way to manage negative thoughts and emotions, helping us refocus away from the worries, anger, depression, anxiety, or other stressful responses we've experienced in the past and focus on being present and observing current events without the influence of emotion from these past events. In patients with panic disorder, a condition where people experience a sudden feeling of acute and disabling anxiety, reducing stress with mindfulness meditation may help to reduce the symptoms of panic and is considered a promising treatment for some people with the condition. In adults with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, mindfulness meditation may help improve the ability to focus, and research has found that when mindfulness techniques are combined with a primary treatment for obsessive compulsive disorder, it can bolster the therapeutic effect. In addition, mindfulness meditation has been shown to be an effective treatment or as an add-on treatment for a number of different mental health disorders, including addiction and substance abuse, eating disorders, certain personality disorders, suicide and self-harm, as well as trauma and post-traumatic stress disorder. Some of the great benefits about mindfulness are that it's free, doesn't have side effects, and it can essentially be practiced anywhere and at any time. In fact, mindfulness-based programs are designed to incorporate mindfulness practices into daily life. Whether you're sitting, walking, eating, meeting with friends or family, or even when you're working. When people choose to practice mindfulness, they often say that it becomes easier and easier over time, and they add that it helps them reconnect with and nurture themselves. So in summary, mindfulness is one method that research shows can potentially treat many mental health conditions. It can help people thrive in a constantly demanding and stressful world, helping people decrease their stress and to better enjoy their lives. In my next video, I'll review how small businesses can use mindfulness at work. If you're thinking that mindfulness might be helpful for you, consult with your physician or other healthcare provider for information and resources in your area. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts and please let me know what you think of today's video in the comment section. If you're watching on YouTube and would like to hear more, please click the subscribe button. I appreciate any comments and support that you'd like to send my way. And as always, thanks for listening and have a great day.